If you have joined any of my recent live streams, you might have seen that I combined the live stream chats of two YouTube accounts as well as one Twitch channel. In this video, I want to show you how you can do the exact same thing completely free using the Restream chat app and OBS. But first, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Greeny. I do videos and live stream and this is all you need to know. So let's go. As mentioned, I'm using the Restream cross-platform chat application for that purpose. All you need to use that application is you need a Restream account. In case you don't own a Restream account yet, no problem. Use the link down there in the video description below to sign up for a Restream account and get a $10 Restream credit. Yes, once more, this is completely free and you don't need an upgraded Restream account. However, if you at any point want to upgrade to an upgraded Restream account, so once you have your Restream account, you need to set up all the live streaming services you want to pull the live chats from. And to do that, you simply click on to add channel, uh, search your live streaming service you want to use, for example, Twitch, and then connect Restream to your Twitch account. I already did this. I'm using two YouTube accounts as well as one Twitch account. So next we can go back to the Restream cross-platform chat application and can download it for Windows or whatever platform you are using. And once it's installed, start the Restream chat application and the first time you obviously have to log in to your Restream account so the application knows which accounts it needs to pull the messages from. So let's do this. And once we're signed in, we're almost ready to go. This is now the moment in which we can start OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, Vimix, or whatever software you're using, as long as that software can handle browser sources. So in my case, let me fire up a new instance of OBS, which is completely empty, and we set this thing up together. All right. So let's pretend this roller coaster designing tool would be our actual screen capture, just for the sake of not having an endless tunnel of screen recording and screen recording. And we now want to bring in the live chat on top of that screen capture source. And to do that, we simply go to sources, click the plus sign and add a browser source. Let's give this browser source a name, for example, rechat and click OK. Now we need to get the embed code for our Restream cross-platform chat. And to do that, we go over to the Restream cross-platform chat application and we go down there to settings and in there we go to embed in stream. Now there are a few settings we need to go through real quick to set everything up. So we already have a preview here and uh, for the sake of demonstration let's get this to 110%. So first of all we can choose a theme. I am using the comic theme because I think that fits my stream the best. But in case uh, you're a Minecraft player, for example, you could go for a Minecraft theme, just like this one. In my case, as I said, we go for the comic theme. And then there is one important setting, which uh, so many people miss and I don't get why. There is the chat background opacity. And this is usually at 100%. And that would give you that restream blue background. And if you don't want to have the background, which you most likely don't want to have, you can simply slide that slider to zero. And since I have to chat very prominent in my just chatting uh, setup, I'm just going to scale it up to 400% once again. And this is all we need to set up here. You can always go back to those settings and change things and the embed code will stay the same. So next up, we need to scroll up again and copy the embed code. So we simply click the copy button and now we have copied that embed code. Next up we need to go over to our OBS again and in here in the URL of the browser source we already set up we can now paste that embed code and hit OK. And from now on we have the chat we just configured in that window and can move it to wherever we want to have it in our layout. And this is pretty much how easy it is to combine all those different live chats into one combined chat. If you now would go live, the chat messages should appear in the Restream chat application, but in case they do not, here is how to resolve those things and set it up manually. I'm currently obviously not live streaming and therefore we don't see any messages, but I can show you how we can test if it really works. If we are here in the chat application, we already get an 
error message, or in this case, a warning, which tells us that there are no active chats. And uh, to resolve that, we simply click onto the link. And in here, we see, all right, uh, all our live streaming services are currently disabled and therefore the live chat cannot hook into those services. So let's enable the live chat of the Greenbox YouTube channel, because this is a YouTube channel on which I know that there is an upcoming live stream. So we now resolve the issue that the, the warning is gone and we see, okay, there is one channel connected. However, we're getting now the message that the event has not started yet. And this is true. I am currently not live streaming. We are not live. So obviously there's nothing to pull from, but we can change that by just going to the dashboard once more, go to the settings icon of our platform, go to edit settings, and in here we can change the event. Uh, currently it's set to create a new event, but I know I manually planned an event which is upcoming, which is building a roller coaster and chatting. This is an event which will go live in about two hours from now. So I'm setting this in the settings and apply the settings. Now the Restream chat application will hook into that event and pull the chat from that specific event. If we then double check here, we see, okay, so we are now connected. We have currently zero viewers, but we are connected. So let's see if the chat really works. And to test that, let's go to the YouTube studio and bring up that event. All right, so we are now in that specific event, which hasn't started yet. However, the chat should still be listening. So if I write something in that YouTube live chat, for example, hello everyone, say hello to a tutorial, and I sent that, and that message should now appear in the live chat. And there we go. Hello everyone, say hello to a tutorial. And obviously that message now is also visible in our overlay with it in OBS. And if you then would go back to our Restream Studio and uh, we had other channels in which there would be either an upcoming event or we would actually be live, those uh, messages would then also be pulled into the same chat and combined and displayed in the cross-platform chat application from Restream. So let's recap one more time. If you want to pull multiple live chats from different platforms when you go live, Use the Restream cross-platform chat application, which can pull all of those chat messages into one combined chat. To do that, all you need is you need a Restream account, which in that tier for the chat is completely free. And if you want to get a $10 Restream credit, use the link in the video description below. So in case you have any reason to upgrade later, you have those 10 dollar as a credit. Once you did that, you simply have to connect the live streaming services you want to pull the messages from in your Restream dashboard and that should be enough. However, if there should be any issues, I just showed you in the last part of this video how you can manually hook the live chats to the event or live stream you're currently doing. All right, thank you for your attention. I am Greeny. This is how easy it is to combine those live chats into one combined chat and if this video helped please like it and let me know with a comment down in the comment section below i am greeny somewhere here should be a end card with videos you can click and i will see you in the next video or in a live stream so see ya bye